Many are beginning to reflect on a year that has been unlike any other in our lifetime. And while the pandemic may be top of mind, there were many stories, some unrelated to COVID, that were filled with smiles. Kelly Botello brings us a recap of the most memorable and heartwarming CHCH News stories of the year. 2020 has been an incredibly difficult year for the world, but perhaps more than ever, people went out of their way to do good for others. Like the Cathedral High School teachers who delivered lawn signs to graduates when the pandemic caused the cancellation of large celebrations. You guys did this for me. Yeah. This is really, I'm really happy for that. Yeah. Thank you so much for this and I'm happy for it. You can't tell underneath all of this, but I'm crying too. <laughs> And when OPP Constable Ed Sanchuk made it his mission to bring joy to a five-time cancer fighter, 12-year-old Sarah Hamby, thousands of people sent her birthday cards. Hit home with me because I have a 12-year-old daughter myself, and I can't even imagine what that family's going through. Never mind, Sarah. Fighter and a true warrior. In a year that felt particularly unfortunate, there were some crazy strokes of luck. <sighs> Like this car accident near Simcoe that police say actually saved a man's life. He was choking on fast food and the impact of the crash acted like some sort of Heimlich maneuver. What we're thinking is that that food became dislodged as a result of the sudden impact of the collision. And in Niagara, a man found a wedding band that had been lost for decades. The heirloom returned to the couple's son. I didn't know that mom had lost that particular ring. We kind of looked at each other and said, oh my God, you know, is this for real? While humans were kind and compassionate this year, our furry friends were extra special too. <coughs> Weighing in at 31 pounds, St. Catherine's fat cat Shadow stole our hearts, and his lockdown habits may be relatable for some. Exercise, not his thing. And eating, well, he likes that. And didn't we all in 2020? And then there was this moment. <laughs> when a St. Catharines man was reunited with his pets, he had made the difficult decision to surrender the animals after becoming homeless. Broke my heart, broke my heart. They're all I have, they're all I have uh, in the world. The community stepped up with donations and an apartment. The incredible act of kindness gave the man the chance to be with his beloved animals once again. So while 2020 will be remembered for its challenges and change, there were also moments of goodness and love. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.